Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Sam, and today I'm bringing you guys a pretty cool clip I got with the Spas 12 shotgun, and uh, I thought I would use this opportunity to talk to you guys about what I think about the shotguns in Call of Duty Black Ops. So, when I first got on the game and I tried out the Spas 12, <laughs> I was like, hell no. Hell no, you will never see me using a shotgun. It will be a joke. Well, kind of like they were in Call of Duty 4, more or less. Now, they weren't terrible. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to insult anybody who likes the shotguns. I'm just saying that using the shotguns is not easy whatsoever so if you like the shotguns you're probably an above average player um, so I, I didn't really like the shotguns I thought they were um, pretty difficult to use but I've put you know a little bit more time into the game and I decided to give the shotguns another try after seeing gameplay um, of a guy using a stakeout and absolutely owning people at long range and I was like holy crap so try out the stakeout a little bit and then I uh, said all right I'll try out the Olympia a little bit and then I said all right try out the spas 12 a little bit and, or i think it's it's just the spas it's not a spas 12 anymore and uh, i tried out the spas and this is the result uh the spas is a semi-automatic shotgun that you're gonna have to hit people a lot with in order to kill them i would recommend using marathon lightweight and uh, steady aim if you want to kill people steady aim will reduce the bullet spread which is a good thing depending on what shotgun you're using but when you're using something like the spas 12 which is pretty weak you want a tight spread of ammo because you know maybe if you're using something like the Olympic or the Rangers you kind of want it to be wide because it's a really really powerful weapon as it is but when you're using something like the spas in Call of Duty Black Ops steady aim is a really big helper as far as the other shotguns go I'd say that the stakeout has the most range out of any of them I think in fact it does and it, it works pretty well um, although I, I'd say that's my second favorite out of the four shotguns in the game uh, after that would be the HS 10s which are pretty beast I can't lie if you put those if you dual wield those and put stay aim on you can rate people up close but I wouldn't recommend them in general because they kind of fail at medium to I guess long range um, with the spas 12 even you know even though it has like decent uh, range you still have to play really tactically with it um, not you can't straight up rush with it obviously you have to play very aggressively you have to make it to the enemies and their spawns but you can't necessarily rush with it or any of the shotguns um, the stakeout I, oh, I already talked about the stakeout um, the Olympia seems okay it's the double barrel shotgun and I gotta be honest I really don't like it that much it seems like the hit detection is kinda bad on it like I, I can rarely hit people and uh, I don't fare too well with that gun so I'd say the spas 12 is the best out of all the shotguns um, and I said, you know, they're usable. I do. I definitely agree that they are a usable part of the game, and they're not terrible as I first thought they were. Um, but the question is, is are they a viable part of the game? Do they stack up in certain situations against things like uh, submachine guns or assault rifles or whatever? And the answer to that is, I don't think so. I'd say it's just below what you know. Um, would be considered, I guess, viable to use or okay to use. I'd say that, you know, the submachine guns will actually, you know, fare better in those really, really close quarters combat situations unless, of course, you get lucky with, like, an Olympia and you get an instant kill. Uh, Spas 12, it just seems that um, the fact that you have eight shells and the semi-automatic part of it um, means that, you know what, they decided to take away a lot of the damage, so that's going to take a couple bursts to kill people, and it's not, as, it's not like semi-automatic in the way that you can just kind of pull um, the trigger as fast as you want and the bullets or the shells will shoot as fast as you can pull the trigger it's more of a kind of like slow methodical um, uh, what's it called uh, semi-automatic uh, shotgun so it's up to you guys if you want to try them out yourselves and see how you like them um, but overall I think they're uh, decent they're just not amazing uh, usable but they don't kind of stack up to everything else in the game uh, that's pretty much the end of this pretty cool 20 kill streak I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, at the end here I picked out the stakeout and you can see a little bit of action with that but I'm gonna run back in their spawn and uh, as you can guess I'm gonna die I'm gonna get knifed what a way to end a 20 kill streak I'll see you guys later please do me a favor and like the video it really helps me out bye